you uh, since came up short or what's your thought about the game? Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a, a tough game against the defending champs. Uh, they're a very well-coached veteran team. Um, they played deliberate and uh, very physical. And um, you know they cherish every possession, so they're able to capitalize on any mistakes that you make, and they did today. And they uh, used their size and their strength against us, um, which uh, I think was basically the determining factor in the game today. Uh, what is the impression about the building so far? It's great. I love it. It's um, it's ultra competitive. Uh, the fans are great. They're very supportive. Uh, win or lose. Um, it's just a very professional league, and um, you know, it's ran properly, it's organized, and it's only going to improve, and I'm excited to be part of it. So you were very well last week, and uh, then you will be solid today, so why did you stop playing better recently? I'm not sure. Um, just Maybe just, uh, just finally found my rhythm. Uh, start of the season, I uh, wasn't 100% uh, health-wise. Had some injuries I was dealing with, so um, especially after the FIBA break, so we got three weeks off. I was able to get my body into the shape that it's used to playing in, and um, I'm able to play at the level uh, which I expect for myself now. And um, just getting used to the, the the speed of the B League, and uh, you know the, the way it's refereed and the way it is, uh, the intensity, and uh, the, co the coaches are doing a great job also of putting me in uh, positions to succeed. So you can do many stuff, uh, but what is the biggest strength of the player? Mine? Yeah. My ability to score the ball. Um, whether it's uh, three-point, um, you know, any kind of jump shots, attacking the rim. Um, you know, I think I'm a very good offensive player, just putting pressure on the defense, and pick and roll, I can pass the ball. And um, just, uh, you know, I like to take pride in uh, my, my IQ also. I feel like I'm a very smart player and I can help the younger guys with my experience just playing you know, all over the world and I have knowledge to give to them to help them improve as well. Uh, could you please tell me about the differences between the PBA and the PBA? Well, you know, one, the game is shorter. It's a 40-minute game. The PBA is a 48 minutes. Uh, it's a lot more intense. Uh, people will pick you a full court in, in the league. league. Speed is different. Uh, the imports, uh, they have two, you know, Philippine only has one import. Um, B League has three. So the level of the talent is, is greater here. And um, it's, it's more of a challenge because uh, the coaching is, is, is more advanced here. The scouting is very thorough. And um, uh, yeah, obviously, those are the differences. So you're growing from Australia and uh, you have some relationship uh, coach around the ball as well, is it? Yeah. Could you tell me about connection with Coach Ryan? Well, he was a high school coach in Toronto when I was in um, high school as well. Uh, he was coaching probably the best team in Canada at the time, so I was very familiar with him. He um, was very successful. I've always wanted to be a part of one of his programs because um, just his competitiveness and um, you know, his championship pedigrees. He's brought not only his high school team, but you know the Team Canada, uh, the, young, the younger teams to championships. and. And, um, he knows how to win, and um, that's definitely something that I wanted to be a part of. I wanted to be part of a winning culture. And, you know, he took over in Kyoto, which last year had a, had a bad season, and I feel like he's changed the culture. And um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it starts from him, and um, I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, what do you like most about living in Kyoto? The food. The food is great. Um, I've been to different cities, uh, you know, Kyoto is, is my speed, it's, it's, it's a perfect mix, it's still a big city, big enough, but it's not as uh, crazy as uh, you know, Tokyo, and Nagoya, and Osaka, so it's, it still has that uh, rich culture and um, history, you know, and I, I was a, I'm a history, big history nerd, so, uh, you know, I love hearing about the, you know, the, the temples and the shrines that were built thousands of years ago in Kyoto, it's very interesting to me. So, um, you know, the, the culture is just, you know, it's, it's very interesting. And like I said, the food is, is, uh, is great. What is your favorite food? I, I, it's, there's so many, like, I, lately it's about to go into a lot of yakitori restaurants. 
I like the, uh, you know, like the chicken gizzards and the you know, liver and heart, that kind of stuff. And sushi, obviously, is very fresh. And um, I like uh, I like the dumplings. Um, the gyoza here in in, in uh, Kyoto is very good. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've had a bad meal. Okay, last one. Kyoto is a young team. So, what do you want to bring to this team for the rest of the season? <laughs> I want to bring uh, the veteran leadership. I'm the oldest one on the team, which uh, I'm not used to being the oldest, but um, you know that's how young this team is. So uh, you know, just bringing my uh, experience from playing overseas, you know, different levels of basketball, helping the young guys out, uh, being tough on them in practice, um, so they prepare for the games, and um, just bringing poise, you know, a calming. Um, you know, a calming demeanor on the court when there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of things going on, um, you know, something like that. Really help a young team. And uh, I think that's what I'm doing. Thank you.